In the salon today, I can change your words. It's Thursday morning, and last night oh, Ricardo stormed out of the cell sure after hearing that 81% of viewers voted yeah. he right, should work as a junior for the day. He hasn't yet turned up for work, yeah. so the staff check the day's appointments to see if they can cope without him. Michael Barrymore! No, seriously. <laughs> Might be a looky-likey. I ain't doing him, but is it? I will. No, it's not, not going to be him, is it? I'm wrong. <laughs> No, I'm I didn't mean that what? at all. Michael Barrymore what? pedicure. <laughs> yeah, <'cause> he... <laughs> I doubt it's Oh, here we go. Michael Barrymore. That's classic, ain't it? Yeah. But he's a Michael the Barrymore. The salon is taking like part it. in an important hair show on Sunday, and Paul uses the morning staff meeting to recap on yesterday's he, he model good bits. So like... Whee! Twin brother, do not mean doing here for the day. Hello, Shell Buttons on. It's quite cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we like this look, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so today's going to be a bit tricky because the team are going to be a little bit busier, but we've got an extra assistant today, so we should be able to cope all right. Hey! And if we need to get our assistant to do a couple of blow drives, we can, can't we? At the beginning, I said, I don't want to get rid of anyone in here. All right? If I, we have to discipline people in a kind of alternative way, then take my hat off to the guy. He's come in here. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what I really liked this week, it wasn't, by the end of this week, it wasn't me having a pop at Ricardo. It was the team was saying, get out there, sweep out. I could hear it. I was sitting in the office and I was listening to it. So that was quite nice. Can I have a word? Of course you can. Right. I had a difficult day yesterday, very moody. Um, got annoyed with you and AD because you got involved with the models. Hardly, me and Sonny hardly did anything. We just sat at back there. So that yep. really annoyed me. But I had a feeling <clears throat> that you and AD, everything I was choosing was no, no, no. And, and at the end of the day, you know what? I backed off. I said to Julian, let them do the job. So I sat there with Sonia and enjoyed myself. I'm paying a stylist to do a job, <clears throat> and, and, and you're a hairstylist, right? At one point, you was walking up the red, red high heels, and we're trying to put a show together. Yeah, of course, because yeah. I felt, I felt, you know, I, every, anything I was saying about the outfit, me and Julia, bang. You're not here to do the know? outfit. And then this thing of 81% <laughs> of the viewers, I was not understanding what was going on. Yeah, yeah. Basically, what it is, I think people find this quite boring sometimes. They want a little bit of fun, a little bit of uh, entertainment. Can I say something? <coughs> At the end of the day, this show is a massive show and I'm sure Sh uh, Sonia would agree with me that you've not done <coughs> a lot of show work and exhibitions before. Now, any art team has got their strengths. And I, and I you've got to put your best, you've got to put, you've, you've got to do it as a team, but... You know what she said to me yesterday? Yeah, yeah, but I'm said. talking, I'm yeah. talking, you've had your talk. I actually like you a lot, Ricardo, but, yeah. but <coughs> there's a fine line between having fun and taking the piss. This show, all I care about, perhaps it, I take things too seriously, is this show. I think that, well, you, that's I all I care about this week, is that show, because I live and breathe my career, and I want to walk into this, that this, place. This is a TV this show, it's too serious no, 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 for people no, no. getting no, bored. No, no. It's not about to, it's about my reputation when I leave this, this building. At the end of the day, that. I didn't want to come back today, and they turned around <coughs> upstairs and said, you know, it's only. No, I think you show. did want to come back today, Ricardo. I think this whole thing. No, I do. No, no, I, I, no, speak I do. Myself. No, no, no. I, 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 you speak for yourself, I speak for myself. In a salon environment, a stylist will not become a junior, full stop. No, so no, no, stop no. this one act like you, no, mate. I've got assistants, no, Saturday boys, sacked, that do right. a better job than you. You'd be sacked. Oh, is that right? Yes. No, do a better job of on, what? Hang on, of being professional on the floor. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on Me chewing gum and telling clients that I will do you. I'm professional, I'm on time, I'm there for my clients, I do good hair. And he clears How I dress and how I look has got nothing to do with what I do on the floor. Yes, this is what it's got to do. You're a prima donna, mate. I ain't got any problem this with you. This is what it's got to do. Guys, guys, stop. Guys, stop. I'm not having you act like stop. an idiot. Guys, I'll walk, because I'm not going to come on the show and look like a 
Hayden, sit down. You're not, you're not even there. I do that already, excuse me. No, you don't. Calm down. Excuse me. I'm doing that. I'm quite about it. All these guys were saying that you were sitting on your ass being lazy. I don't know what, well, I know what Salon used to work for, right? And professionalism is not just doing your client. It's clearing up after yourself and yeah, being I a team my player. Session. All right? You've bought this on yourself, right? Yeah, if I was I'm managed, if this wasn't on TV and you behaved like that, I would have probably sacked you. You cannot turn up late three times in a week and expect to get away with it. If you was in my salon, you'd be sacked. Today, you will probably have a, more of a laugh than everybody, to be honest. Yeah. You'll probably have a good day today. Well, I will help but, as well. No, no, to help. But what? What you have to, yeah, definitely. But <laughs> Get your what, money's worth. What, what you have to remember Stop next then. week, sir, is that we just need you to muck in. Oh, we all do. <laughs> okay. Go. Oh, that was an art, man. That was. What happened? <laughs> And all through the day, if you could just go in the tint room and if there's tint bowls need washing up. All right, then. Thank you. You'll do a good junior, Ricardo. I will. I can't Darling, whatever I do, I do the best. I told you. Staff begin another busy day of clients. Suzanne does a sell on tan, Sabrina buffs at the nail bar. And Aidy's 12 o'clock cut is 50-year-old Michael from Essex, who's also booked in for a beauty treatment. Hi. Hello, darling. Run this way, please. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Have you got a coat or anything? No, I'm taking my coat off. Right, OK. You're with AD today for a haircut. Mm -hmm. And then you're with the lovely Sabrina for a pedicure. Lovely Sabrina. What's she doing? My feet? She's doing your feet. Oh, I've got big ones. <laughs> Sorry? I've got big feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll be about an hour on that. Hi, AD. How are you doing? All right, how are you? Yes, yes, yes. Hello. That's Sabrina. She'll be doing your feet. Do you want to take a seat? Hiya. Hello. 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 <laughs> All right, thanks. Oi. Hi, mate. How are you? <laughs> I haven't heard that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd get it out of the way. Oh, yeah. How are you doing, mate? Yeah. Yeah. You OK? Yeah, cool. You didn't say that. <laughs> you did, yeah. <laughs> I just get it out of the way. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> All along here. All right. Spray some of that and then wipe it. All right, then, sir. Right. What are we doing? I don't know. You're going to cut it, isn't you? Nice little sharpen up. Sharpen up? Yeah. yeah. I mean, how short do you like it usually? I don't know. I'll leave it down to you. I'll leave it to I me. Need to be a bit creative. Oh, I like that. That's my dream oh, client. Yeah, dream, yeah. dream consultation. I'll just leave it to you. It's like, <laughs> usually I've got to spend 20 minutes begging people to say that. Well, I don't mind. You know, we'll go just... too short. I mean, we'll keep it quite textured. I mean, we'll leave it a little bit long with foot hair. Yeah. Got lots of texture in it. You started talking all posh. Yeah, well. Can I as well if I talk com common as well? You <laughs> can if you want. Excellent. All right, follow me, guys. Let's get you some food. Oh, shut up. See, I was sort of, for the first time in my life, I ain't got a clue what to say. I can't say, how's your last year been? What have you been up to? I mean, I do a lot of big profile people, and it's like, I just treat people like they are, but it's like, what do you talk about there? So where did you travel from? Uh, you Essex. Travel? Essex. Yeah, but it wasn't too bad a journey. Traffic? Right. Or? No, it's all right today. Yeah. yeah. You've just got to be, just be yourself. What do you think of the programme? How's it going? What are you doing? What are you going to be up to? Man. Do you prefer boys or girls? Or? <laughs> 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 You're right. What yep. side's your bat for? <laughs> <laughs> Back to the game with cricket. Yeah, he seems a really a nice geezer. He looks, he looks smaller in real life than what he does on the telly. He looks really tall on telly, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Weird, isn't it? Hey, I can't believe Michael, when Michael Barrow walked in, because I went to Karina. Um, no, it's not the real one, it can't be. It just know, can't I be. I that. And um, next thing, he's walking and I'm going to Karina. Yes, real <laughs> <laughs> She couldn't see him, uh, she was up the wind. That's funny, isn't it? How was that, sir? Very nice. Michael will do, don't you care you, sir? <laughs> I always say young lady, and I always say sir. Oh, so it's not, it's not, I'm not going out of my way to be That's nice. <laughs> 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 I was just saying to Adi, I'm surprised how he doesn't look as... On telly, he looks like a big mad character, doesn't he? I think he, he looks like a shy, like he's embarrassed to be here. You're not from Essex, No, I was you? born in Ireland, brought up in Birmingham. Yeah, my ma I was brought up in Ireland a lot of times. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I've, I've been like that. I've been like a traveller. Mm. And I went to the 
I met this guy. I was a painter and deck before that was a slaughterman, believe it or not. And uh, I went to the awards with this guy, and he won. And he got he got me up on stage, and he motivated me. And three years later, to the day, I was picking up the same award. Yeah. But I made it happen. <laughs> No, you just told me you're a slaughterman. You own <laughs> ten to a dozen with that. And then away with a pair of clippers around. That's all right. So what's, what's the score at your TV thing? Now, what are you going to do? Well, well, we're doing negotiations at the moment, and uh, cool. whatever I feel is right to do. So There's a great format that uh, has come along, that um, which is ideal for what I do, which is very off the cuff. So it's a matter of you know when when the time's right. You got to get oh, rich no, for the shut top. Up. Clean. Don't bloody tell me what to do, woman. Are you got to do the other side, yet? No, just one side is enough. No, two sides is good. Shut to be up, done. Karen. Now we'll do. <laughs> what are you like? You know, there's a lot of other things I do that are not all related to television. I don't yeah. mean, you know, I don't. I'm not particularly a golfer or that. I might do a bit of fishing out there, but they're hobbies. Yeah. But I write a lot and stuff, so I keep myself. Together and I do what I do. I'll so even without TV, you've still got lots going on. Yeah, and I've got. I don't know, I've got to my AA meetings, you know. And so you still are you? Are you not? No, nothing. I've had no. Really? Been clean and sober 20 months now. You can talk about drink. It's all right, yeah, doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's one of those things. Well, yeah. I suppose it's fair not to. Go to enough meetings and talk about it. Yeah, it's the way you deal with it. You talk about talking about it. You know. Not talking about things that doesn't get things dealt with. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, just what we were saying earlier. Like dealing with it, I suppose, but you know, at the same time, there's a time, you know, you probably hear enough of it there not to be talking about it in when you're having your barnet cut, I suppose. Quite this. Yeah. It's his life story, yeah. He's really gobbing off. You know something? It's you. I'm supposed to be asking you questions. I'm here giving it. I am my life. He's pouring his life out to me. Should we talk about this man's life? No, but you know, I was just saying. Oh, we, we did a couple of seconds of that. I can cope, I, I can cope with listening to it. He's had a. You've had a bit of a roller coaster ride recently. Yeah. How's that all going? Coming well, back? It's getting, it's getting sorted out. I mean, you know, the, you know, there's been a huge change around with the evidence and that, and um, that's made a big difference. There's a lot to be dealt with, you know. Yeah. So the pressure's yeah. off a little bit now for you, isn't it? Just getting, right. getting your life back. Getting your getting life your... back together, and then, you know, people have got to get their lives back together as yeah, well. Yeah, right. you know, you have to... do, you miss, do you miss the TV stuff? and? Well, I've been concentrating on just dealing with what what what, yeah. what we've got to deal with, rather than um, Worry. worrying about too yeah. much about the TV stuff. That'll take its course it, 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 as it's meant to be. Yeah. You know? uh, How old are you? Am I allowed to ask that? Yeah. Yeah. What now? Yeah. What now? Yeah. Right. Right. This minute. <laughs> right this Not minute. the You don't have to go the days and the minutes in uh, the seconds. I think I'm fifty. Fifty. Let's just forget after a while. It's a bit try, try to forget. It's a bit though. strange. You don't actually yeah. sort of. It's like when you're 20, you think you've got your act together, didn't you, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Thir when, well, no, you think you had. Yeah. When you're 30, you realise you're a bit of a <laughs> when you were 20. Yeah. And what about when you're 50? <laughs> Coming up in the salon, taking the biggie, and showing up my. It's ten to two in the salon. Right then, we're almost ready for you to get your old feet done, mate. Right, OK. Have you had lunch or anything? Have you had food? Uh, no, I'll have a sandwich or something. Right then, sort some out here. Ricardo! <laughs> He's the runner today. Out. But I'm naked. 
Out, don't care. Out. Are you naked? No, he's not. He's got yeah. stupid green shorts on. Oh, absolutely. Now. Okay. You're not supposed to be on holiday. Yeah. Uh, he's at lunch. His punishment has turned me into this. I can't believe it. Can you believe that? He's on probation and he's having a jacuzzi with sunglasses this big on and green, <laughs> green underpants. Green underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Am I joking with you? No. I'm being very, very serious. I think he's gone beyond the... I think he's taken the, the, the phase, taken the <laughs> on a new level, but... There you go. I think he gets away with it. Yeah, the last thing people think they're looking after is their feet. And then that's the one that gives them all the problems when they're older. Oh, God, I saw some white corkers the other day. I was like, my mean, feet aren't my favourite, I must admit. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things. But they look spot on afterwards because she was like, oh, wow. I mean, they were thick. And they were thick, my corkers. Like, well, what have you been doing to yourself, girlfriend? Let's get that see these big feet of yours. Well, Sam, do you know in the middle drawer there, will you get me the grey fox out, God, please? God, you have got big feet, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, but he, hasn't got, he actually hasn't got very ugly feet. That's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, can it's we, a bonus. Can I have that thing in the... It's big, but not ugly. What is that? Yeah. So what more do you want? <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, open the cat one. It's incredible. It's like... Well, Lucy's got his boxers on or whatever. The last Brazilian got in naked, didn't he? Yeah. Hello. Don't worry about them. You're looking deadly with that knife. I don't think there is a reason why he is in there. If that is the case, then I'm sorry, it really defeats the object of him being the junior for the job. Um, there's Paul noise in there. <laughs> hey, look at him. Who's anybody who's for a donut? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Well, I was a bit hot. I was a little bit too hot. What? Did you Something know that the jacuzzi, jacuzzi is out of order, Ricardo? Is he? <laughs> Did it break? Was it? The... Oh, never mind. I'm going to have lunch. <laughs> it's like a swamp. <laughs> right, is that your fan? Yeah, it's his just... only fan. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, according to these, you haven't done anything. Oh, God. What no. did he say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you should try the jacuzzi, it's wonderful. Why don't you go over afterwards? No, I think, I'll, uh, yeah, maybe another time. Do you? Yeah. It's fantastic. Can pull out a towel. Can pull like a um, flowery, maybe bathing suit or something. I really <laughs> have a lot of that. All right. I'm going to eat now. A nice sandwich. Right. Thank you. It's actually, what did I buy? Chicken. You have to answer me one question. Do you know what Strike It Lucky race? Did they get the prizes or did they get the money? <laughs> Originally, they used to add all the prizes. We didn't tell them before, but we used to add the prizes up. Yeah. And rather than get, and give them the equivalent money. Right. But then the ITC stopped that. And you, uh, from, I haven't done it for years anyway. But from no, it just makes me die because of all these prizes that people get on. Oh, the bizarre prizes, no. I was just saying, you said, I'll get you a nice clock and radio. It could be a dead cheap one. It could be a dead well, you don't know what, yeah. Yeah, it exactly. could be a dead cheapy holiday in Blackpool. <laughs> well, there'd be a budget for everything, yeah. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. What? You come back here as soon as you can, because I need to talk to you. Why? I can't believe what I just said to Michael Barrymore. I didn't realise that. What did you say to him? What did you say to him? You should try the jacuzzi. Come and get a swim trunk and let's go to the jacuzzi. Are you connecting things? Swimming pool? Yeah. Jacuzzi? <laughs> no, I'm mad. Oh, my God. Why I do these things and I don't think... Well, how much lunch are you having today, Ricardo? How much? I don't know. Just... Well, you was in the jacuzzi. That was your lunch break. Jug there you are. Jug lock. Well, 
Use it how long as you need to accuse you for then? Ten minutes, you walked in straight away. Don't, don't make this a complete joke, right? I quite like a laugh, I think it's funny. I'm don't not. Taste, otherwise, you get your bag, get your coat, and you can go home. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I went two o'clock. Okay. You can look at the, what, the clock. Okay, you've got half an hour. Two o'clock. Ten yeah. minutes. Uh, if you can. Yeah. <laughs> you worked. You're mad, mate. No, I can do if I want to. I can be very serious. I can be very. I can be everything. I can be even a geezer. Yeah. It's true, isn't it? There you go. You can't be a rude boy. A rude boy? Yeah. What does that mean? A rude boy, man. What? A woman? No, a rude boy. Like what? Doing what? Just, just a rude boy. A rude just being boy. rude? Yeah. No, I can. I can be very rude. Three hours of cut around. and pedicure later, Michael's pamper no, session is complete. And you want to give that? Can you look after yourself and give that a size? Oh. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Sarah, see ya. See you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take right. care. See the overall shape. You didn't eat my sandwiches. I have one of them. See you, girls. See you, brother. All the best. Sala. Yeah. yeah, nice to meet you. See you again. Sala. I'm in trouble, babe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you know I'm like, you know, I'm a little bit naughty. A bit naughty. Yeah. He's got to stop being naughty. Yeah, but the thing is, I have to, you know. I see you. <laughs> Take care, darling. It's nice to meet you. And they sent me to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> It's six o'clock, and Paul and Adi finish off their last glance of the day with help from the juniors. So how come you're late, then, if you live nearby? I don't know. Do you want to get me in trouble, do you? <laughs> no, she doesn't. You bitch, I'm going to burn you this. <laughs> he makes a great assistant. He's quite a bitch, now. <laughs> you hear me? I had enough of clients like you coming and having 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> yes. Oi. Oi. Ooh. Oi. You see, I can be a right bitch. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I voted for you on the website now. I know, to I'm sure you did. I know, I'm sure you did. I, I knew that from your... I didn't. I'm no, sure you I did. did. Yeah, Paul wants to hear your news on his salon. How do you think he should deal with Ricardo next week? Should Sonia get a makeover? Are they all doing a good enough job? If you want to have your say, email salon manager at channel4.com. Using my salon to be sacked.